Hey everyone, so this is video two in our series of finding the derivative of x squared. So now we are going to formally find the derivative of x squared using the limit definition of the derivative. So let's get started. So the limit definition of the derivative is that f prime of x, our derivative, equals the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So this is our limit definition of the derivative. We use this anytime we're trying to formally prove a derivative rule. So for us, our function is x squared. So we have x plus h squared minus x squared divided by h. That is our difference quotient that we are going to try to simplify to find what the derivative is. So we're trying to compute what happens as h goes to zero. So to better see this, I want to do some simplifying so that I can cancel some things out and see what's going on. So let's get rid of that parentheses in the first bit. So x plus h quantity squared, let's distribute that through. So I end up with x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, and then I have minus x squared left. This is all divided by h, and now we're hoping to combine some of the terms together to get something that will simplify. So I see that we have an x squared and a minus x squared, so those will cancel each other out, and I am left with 2xh plus h squared all over h. Okay, so we just have to keep going with our simplifying. So I see that in the numerator we have h's in both terms, so I'm going to factor an h out. So I'm left with h times 2x plus h all divided by h. Then those h's will cancel the one in the numerator and the denominator, and so I'm left with 2x plus h. When we take the limit as h approaches 0, the 2x isn't affected by the h, it's just the 2x. But the plus h, we're sending that h to 0, and so that is going to go away, meaning we are just left with 2x. Writing this out formally, this means that the slope of any point x f of x on the graph of f of x equals x squared can be found using the formula f prime of x equals 2x. So the slope at any point on the graph is found by 2x. So now we're going to return to our example of looking at the graph and trying to find the slope of the tangent line or the derivative at x equals 1. So the, now that we have the equation of the derivative, we know that the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 is given by our derivative, f prime of x equals 2x. But we just need to replace x with 1, and so I'm getting that the derivative at 1 is 2 times 1, which is 2. So this slope should make sense if we look at a sketch of the tangent line. So I've drawn the tangent line here, and if we go up to over 1, up to over 1, up to over 1, we can see that this aligns with points on the tangent line. So we can feel confident that the derivative at x equals 1 is 2. The slope of the tangent line at 1 is 2. Now I want to give you a chance to repeat this process on your own, so let's draw that graph again. This is f of x equals x squared, and now I want to look at the point x equals 2. What I'd like you to do is to find the derivative at x equals 2, or find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2. So pause the video now, give this a shot, and come back and we'll do it together. So to do this, we're going to consider the slope of the tangent line at the point 2, 4. So 4 is the output that goes with 2 as the input. That slope is given by f prime of x equals 2x. That's our formula for the derivative of x squared, and so we just need to put in 2 for x to find the output. So when I put 2 in, I do 2 times 2, which is 4, and so the slope of my tangent line at x equals 2 is 4. Just be careful here, that 4 is not the same as the y value 4, that 4 is the derivative, that 4 is the instantaneous rate of change at x equals 2. So if we think about the tangent line at that point, it should have a slope of 4. So it should go up 4 over 1, or down 4 left 1. Alright, so that's it for this video. Our main takeaway is that the derivative of x squared is 2x. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.